Welcome back to Aerospace Mac. Today is the day that you've all been waiting for. We're gonna make an RC space shuttle. Now in the past, you've seen me drop a space shuttle from my DIY RC glider, and then again from my flight test tiny trainer. That was the same space shuttle. Well, we're gonna take a different one, and I'm gonna put RC electronics in it. All right, guys, I'm really excited about this. I really hope that it's going to work. Let's go build it. So you just saw me build the RC Space Shuttle. Now you may have noticed that I switched from a ultra micro receiver and decided to use the 5 gram servos 
the 650 milliamp battery, the 12 amp ESC, and a large receiver. Now the reason I changed that was because of the fact that I broke a servo wire on the ultra micro board. So I'd actually had my initial plan of using the heavy electronics with the 5 gram servos and all the rest of the heavy electronics, I'd actually plan to use those instead of the ultra micro board. Of course I changed when I had the little UMX Radian that I purchased, so I decided to take that electronic piece out and put it inside the space shuttle since they were of similar size. But I kind of changed after I broke my little wire, so now it was back to plan A. So after I centered my servos, made sure everything was going the right way, I decided that it was time to go out for the maiden flight. All right, I think this is the first time in the history of aerospace, Matt, where two aircraft are gonna be controllable and done. And this guy's gonna be flying the space shuttle. Now, if you notice, this is Space Shuttle Discovery because that was the first fully operational space shuttle that was not meant for testing. So that's why I did that. All right, are you ready, Dad? Ready. All right, launching in three, two, one. I pulled it back and it went straight into the ground. Right. Well, we can't win them all. So what happened there was I do believe I made the aircraft just a little bit too heavy. Okay, it was quite a bit too heavy. So what I actually did was I put electronics in there that were so heavy, it didn't matter that they were on the center of gravity. Imagine if we put a Cessna wing on a 747 and tried to fly that. That's pretty much what went on with this. So unfortunately, it did not work. But I'm not someone who likes to give up. So I tried again. If at first you don't succeed, fly, fly again. Well, as you're gonna see here in some video overlay, that did not go as planned either. Actually, what I did was I put some tape spoiler-ons on the back of the elevons. So what I was trying to do was make the up input move it more because I had full rates on the control surfaces. So I tried to make them go even higher to attempt to counteract the nosedive and try to pitch out. Unfortunately, as you're about to see, that did not go according to plan either. One of the reasons the issue occurred was because it hit the aircraft when it separated, so it started falling. Also, I believe one of the spoilerons was slightly higher than the other, working exactly like an aileron. Or, there is another possibility. It entered some kind of flat spin because it was just too heavy and it was essentially like a flying brick, even more than the real space shuttle was. So, with those mistakes behind me, I took off the spoilerons and tried one more time. So I took off, and the space shuttle looked great sitting on the wing of the Simple Soar. The Simple Soar, by the way, is a great drop vehicle for RC aircraft. If you want to do a drop system, you can put it on the bottom of the wing, or you can put it on top like I did. Back to the drop. This was my third and final attempt. The shuttle came off the back and didn't hit any part of the simple soar. Unfortunately, it nosedived and it crashed. So that did not work out as planned, but I promise you guys the next one will work even better because I learned from my mistakes and I'm really excited for part two. Now, of course, as always, feel free to like this video and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to episode two of this. We're going to fly an RC space shuttle on this channel. 
in the very near future. I'll see you guys in the next one.